Hello everyone, Berserk it here, and I just wanted to make this video, kind of give you my thoughts on on something. Um, so there was this thing, Make War Not Love, that was kind of a competition between Rome 2 and Company of Heroes 2, and basically uh, both companies that make these games announced that the game that actually has more battles or more victories or something like that will get a free DLC and there was this site which is still active it's called make war not love um, dot com uh, and you know you could see the percentage of like the battles fought and uh, how the competition was going at the end as you can see here company of heroes 2 won but they won by a very slight difference. It was 49 by 52 for Company of Heroes. So they got the free DLC and we get a DLC too, but we gotta pay for it. Anyways, since I saw that the difference was so small, you know, it was basically very... It was a very insignificant difference. Like, let's be honest, it was just not overwhelming. And they had, you know, the percentages were like that for pretty much the whole three days that... Uh, this thing was going but I made kind of a research and I was like okay let's see why we actually lost that so I went to Steam and actually if you go to store and then you go to stats uh, then you can see you know how many players are currently playing like the top 100 most played games so you can see here Dota 2 Counter-Strike Global Offensive of course the most played games but if you go like if you scroll down a little bit you'll see Rome 2 it currently has almost 20 um, 20,000 people playing so let's look up company of heroes I figured it might be somewhere here since you know there are more people playing it or at least there are more battles fought on a daily basis I figured it might be something somewhere here however I don't find it anywhere here it's not here as you can see it's not here you might ask where is it there it is 5,000 people currently playing it so I was like okay okay but the competition was not about people playing the game it was about you know battles fought so I went online I looked up I looked up some battles I'm not a huge fan of this game I actually don't like it it's not my type of game it's not a bad game by any means but uh, it's not my type of game so I saw that battles last for you know not less than half an hour very rarely under half an hour so uh, you know, then then I figured, like, how much do battles in Rome 2 last? Well, generally between 5 and 10 minutes. So, p plus there was a thing, like, uh, you know, they uh, it, all the battles counted, basically. If you play Rome 2, if you play a custom battle, if you play a uh, single-player battle, it all counts. Uh, and I was like, so this is... This is really, like, this is not looking great. I don't, I don't see how this could actually happen. A game with a smaller audience, much smaller audience, audience, in fact, a game in which battles take much longer, how did they actually win that? I don't know. I, I, I just still cannot figure this out. So, any of you Company of Heroes fans, can you please explain how this happened? Because I'm not saying that it wasn't genuine or anything like that. I'm just a little bit suspicious because... Let's see, so they had this DLC in mind, CA had, uh, had this um, DLC in mind, it's called Beasts of War, and now as you can see it costs 250 but basically what this DLC does is it adds, I think, f 7 units to the game, yeah, 7 units for 250 I mean, you know, I have my series, should you buy it, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be reviewing that and, uh, you know, absolutely bashing it because it's just fucking ridiculous, but the thing is, here is what I think happened. So they had this DLC in mind, but um, they were like, people are going to want it for free because this is basically, it adds so little to the game. It has just a handful of units. So people are not going to want to pay for that. But what we can do is we can pretend that we have a competition with another game and the game which wins gets a DLC for free. So we're going to end up losing and we're going to want uh, people to play to pay for our DLC, and we're not, you know, they're not gonna blame us for that. And you know, this sounds very, it just sounds a little bit logical. Once again, I'm, I'm not blaming, I'm not saying that it happened this way, I'm just saying that it makes sense. It kind of makes sense, you know, CA or not, or not CA, but it's more like a Sega thing. They're not the most transparent company, 
they have proven themselves to be kind of greedy every now and then. They do some stuff that is really not that cool. So I don't know. I, once again, I'm, I'm just a skeptical person. This is the way I think. This is the way I see things. And uh, I don't know. Just one explanation for that. I don't, I don't see how this could actually happen. You know, uh, seeing the statistics, making the research, I just cannot figure it out. So please help me out in the comment section. Once again, do not take it personally. I'm not blaming anyone. I'm not saying Company of Heroes 2 didn't win, but I just it just doesn't make sense to me once again. Hope you get my point. So yeah, this is going to be everything. Please leave a comment if you play Company of Heroes 2. Please explain to me how this actually happened. And uh, yeah, that's it. See you next time. Goodbye.